Tommy Reese, the Notre Dame offensive coordinator, is reportedly Alabama's new top target for their vacant OC position. Now, Nick Saban sent the university plane to South Bend to pick up Reese. He'll fly back to Tuscaloosa to interview for the job. Ryan Grubb, Washington offensive coordinator, was in Tuscaloosa on Monday. New TCU offensive coordinator Kendall Bryles was rumored to be in town on Tuesday. And now... Reese is making the trek down. Now, personally, I'm curious if these are interviews or if it's just Saban having as many discussions as possible with successful guys that run different types of offenses. Uh, Pete Thamel, the ESPN insider, stated on Feinbaum, uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and quote him, Nick, I give him credit for this. He's been consistently deliberate about these jobs and tends to talk to people to pick their brains and learn. He's sort of always used these jobs as a schematic simulator for him. Uh, He seems to be in the throes of that. Now, Grubb would have been a great offensive coordinator for Ty Simpson. Bryles for Jalen Milrow. Reese seems like a guy that can kind of run everything. Now, Pete Thamel also stated that Oklahoma offensive coordinator Jeff Lebby uh, continues to come up in conversations and that the former Ravens offensive coordinator Greg Roman is a name that continues to come up, uh, with the thought being that Saban... Uh, is enticed by Roman's success in the running game. Now, Reese, of course, is a Notre Dame alum. Uh, He played quarterback in South Bend from 2010 through 2013. He spent a year in the NFL. He was a GA at Northwestern in 2015. And then he was an offensive assistant with the Chargers in 2016. Uh, He was then hired to Brian Kelly's staff in 2017 as the quarterback's coach, until he was elevated to OC in 2020. Now, when Kelly left following the 2021 season, he was retained by Marcus Freeman. Uh, Reese's yards per play offensive rankings, and we'll go through year by year, uh, number 34 in 2020, number 43 in 2021, and then number 45 this season. So really nothing too crazy. Now, as far as efficiency is concerned, his offensive success rate was number 20, in 2020, number 60 in 2021, and then number 18 this past season. Uh, PPA predicted points added per play was number 26 in 2020, number 44 in 2021, and number 61 this year. Now remember, of course, Reese was working with a backup quarterback for the majority of the 2022 season. Uh, There have primarily been four quarterbacks at Notre Dame in Reese's three seasons. Ian Book, Jack Cohn, Tyler Buckner, of course, who got hurt this year, and Drew Pine. Now I don't believe you could call the offensive skill talent elite by any stretch of the imagination. The enticing part of this uh, would be Brian Kelly's former OC joining Nick Saban in the same division as Kelly, who of course is now at LSU. So now the question is, if Reese is a Notre Dame alum who spoke so highly of Marcus Freeman and his desire to build up Notre Dame into a national championship caliber program, why would he even take the interview in Tuscaloosa, uh, especially the day after signing day? I think the timing kind of tells you exactly what you need to know, right? Brian Kelly went to Baton Rouge and brought in the number six overall class. This season, he's got two five stars and 16 four stars. That doesn't include their transfer hall. And Notre Dame just brought in the number 10 class with zero five stars and 24 stars. At Brian Kelly's recruiting just showed why he took the LSU job. Like it is easier to win a title in Baton Rouge than South Bend. Now, Alabama, on the other hand, brought in the third highest ranked class of all time this season with nine five stars and 18 four stars. Now, Reese has to be wondering what he could do with that much talent as his, or at his disposal. Uh, now, this could all be for nothing, as I'm sure that this will uh, continue on, uh, the search will. But Reese is certainly an intriguing option, and he could definitely get Alabama back uh, to running the football successfully. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.